We all want a beautiful website that reflects our brand and actually converts visitors into paying clients. But designing a website is hard work and takes serious time. Today, I'm going to share seven time-saving hacks to help you design your own stunning website on Show It Fast. Hi guys, I'm Krista from Davy and Krista, where we help you build a brand that reaches more people, generates more leads, and helps you grow your audience. In today's video, we're talking about Show It, which is one of my favorite platforms to build websites on. Even though Show It makes it really easy to build websites, it can still take some time to get used to the software, especially if it's brand new. So today I'm gonna to share seven tips that you can use to get started and finished quickly. But before we get started, if you like this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this video so that you can receive more videos from us in the future. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. Okay, so let's get started. Show It is a modern website builder that is drag and drop and it makes it really easy to create a website. While it was originally marketed towards photographers, it's been adopted by all sorts of businesses because of how easy it is to use. While its drag and drop functionality makes it easier than ever to get a website live, there are a few things that you can do to make it faster for yourself. First, start with a template. When you sign up for a Show It account, you'll have the option to load a premium template or use one of the free templates in their library. Or if you're the really adventurous type, you can choose one of their basic templates and then create each page from scratch. But there's actually a lot that goes into creating a Show It template, especially when it comes to the blog. Unless you're experienced with Show It, we always recommend starting with a template. So what's the difference between the free templates and the paid templates? Well, like most things that are free, they tend to be a little more simple. They also typically don't come with support from the original designer. We have a free template in the Show It library, but our premium templates come with a lot more features built in. Each comes with its own hour long tutorial video teaching you exactly how to use every element on the page. It comes with more support resources and hands-on support from us. And I know that a lot of other designers do the same thing. Tip two, when you're getting started on your site, start with fonts and colors. All designs come with preloaded font palettes and color palettes. So if you wanna make drastic changes to the way that your design looks, this is a great place to get started. I recommend choosing or uploading your own fonts first in the design settings tab and then delete the fonts that you won't be using. This ensures that no elements on the site still are using the old font styles. Then hop over to the font area under site style and adjust the headings and the body copy. This should update a good amount of the text on your site with the fonts that you want to be using. To update the colors throughout your site, we recommend starting with the color palette. Try to use your new colors in a format similar to the original colors. So if there was a dark gray and the number one spot that was used for body copy, but you want your font to be black, put your black where the dark gray was. That will make sure that all of the text goes from gray to black and it should help you minimize the amount of work that you need to do to individually change design elements. Likewise, if you know you wanna use a light pink color for a lot of backgrounds of your site and you see that your current design is using a light tan, replace the light tan color with your light pink and that should help update a lot of the backgrounds on your site and minimize the work you need to do. All right, tip three, special paste. This is one of my favorite features in Show It. Show It doesn't allow you to drag and select multiple items and change the styles as a group. However, they do have a special built-in option called special paste. Special Paste allows you to copy the design settings from one element and paste them to another. And this works between different types of elements as well as between desktop or mobile. So if you have a lot of formatting to do, this can save you a lot of time. To use Special Paste, first you need to copy. So on a Mac, that would be the key commands Command C or on a PC, Control C. Then select the object that you want to paste the settings into. To paste your settings, hit Shift Command V on a Mac and Shift Control V on a PC. Not every single setting will copy in between elements, but a lot of the major ones will. So this should save you a good bit of time. And keep in mind that you can copy elements from desktop and paste them to the mobile version. Which leads me to my next tip, 
pay attention to mobile. When I work on a website, I tend to work on the desktop version of a canvas first and then immediately turn on the mobile version to see what it looks like. This is because while elements that I add and format on desktop might look good on desktop, they often aren't matching on mobile. So if I go through an entire project without ever looking at the mobile version, it's probably gonna look pretty wonky by the time I get to launch. Special Paste can save you a lot of time in this area, but Show It also has a built-in feature that can help you format your mobile version a little bit faster. Select a canvas and then select the three dots on that canvas and go down to mobile layout. From here, you can select between an auto-generated layout, a stacked layout, and a scaled layout. I typically don't look at these mobile options until my desktop version is completely dead just to make sure that I'm not still making changes to the other version. If I'm using this feature, I tend to choose the stacked version as that typically results in text that is larger and easier to read. You'll likely still need to update some of the settings in the mobile version, but this should help save you some time. Next up, the undo button. As long as you haven't hit publish or left a page, you can use the undo button or redo buttons to go back back or redo your work. So if you accidentally delete a bit of text or you don't love the way something is looking, you can quickly undo it. If you're on a Mac, you can use key commands like Command Z for PCs, Control Z to quickly undo what you just did or select the undo redo buttons at the bottom of the show it browser keep in mind that the only thing on show it that can't be undone is if you accidentally remove an entire page once you delete a page it is gone tip six utilize the align buttons show it has built-in buttons that make it easy to align and distribute objects so if you're adjusting element sizes or adding several objects to a canvas, this is a great tool to use. You can drag and select multiple items at once and then on the right side, use the align tools to align them to the top, the bottom, and even evenly distribute objects. This helps ensure that your designs are more precise. And final tip, use site canvases whenever possible. Site canvases allow you to create a canvas that is repeated on multiple pages. So if you update it on one page, it's going to be updated on any other page that it appears on. We always make our headers, footers, mobile menu, lead magnet sections, site canvases, but anything that needs to get repeated could be turned into a site canvas, such as a press section. To convert a canvas to a site canvas, select the canvas, then select the three dots that allow you to edit the canvas and go down to convert to site canvas. Then select those three dots again and hit copy canvas, and then you can paste that canvas onto other pages. All right, there you go. Seven design hacks that will save you time while you're designing your next website on the ShowIt platform. If you have any additional questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll try to include them in another video. And make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future videos. Bye.